I can tell you something about Blooming. About Blooming? Even if you hadn't killed him earlier tonight, there is nothing I would have cared to know about that misshapen creature anyway. In fact, I already know far too much about him. No, there's nothing I want to know about Blooming. You killed him, and he deserved to die. No one will miss him. I can tell you something about Vlad. About Vlad? Vlad is dead. What is there to care about? Moreover, you do not seem to realize that Vlad was working for me. I have nothing to offer. Regrettable. Most regrettable indeed. Enough talk. Ah, do I sense a latent death wish? Good. Then let us begin. When the fight started, I knew it was already lost. The sunlight should have been my ally, but Steiner seemed to be immune to it. On the other hand, it burned into my flesh like fire. My second death seemed inevitable. Light blinded me as soldiers stormed the hall. I had seen this equipment before. The burglars in the museum had been similarly equipped. The sun didn't bother Steiner one bit. The enemy's bullets were another story. Steiner hit the ground. The gunfire subsided, leaving an eerie silence. A luminous apparition entered the scene. I thought the angel had come to save me. I was wrong. It seemed the woman gave the soldiers their orders. Apparently they were only interested in Steiner. Good thing for me. I took the opportunity to make my escape. The passage through which the guards had come seemed to be my only chance. I ran and used my powers as best I could. My life depended on it. My pursuers' voices grew quieter and finally disappeared. Down here, it would take them forever to find me, hopefully. The rising sun forced me to sleep. As the sun went down once more, I awoke. I couldn't understand what had happened in Atlantis. Was there such a thing as vampire hunters? Rose was my only clue, again. I made my way to the sanctuary. The sanctuary was in a seedy part of town destroyed by fire 15 years ago. Since then, it has been home to those who had no place else to go. They dubbed it The Hole. Rose? Can you hear me, Rose? No answer. Okay, men. Spread out and secure the area. Vampire hunters. Had they come because of the sanctuary? I had to hurry and warn Rose. Shit, man. My sh be here. I should be on the front in the attack team. These bastards killed my brother in the museum. I fucking owe it to him. Easy. You have your orders. These here won't be the last ones. You can still shoot some. <laughs> I killed my brother. He's in that club. I can feel it. Little luck, they'll take some prisoners.
this to him should pay. We need backup, stat! Rose, are you still there? Rose, do you hear me? I'm in the security center. Okay, then I'll just do it alone. Large areas of the Hardy Museum have now collapsed. Several rescue workers were buried in the process. Letters from fundamentalist groups claiming responsibility are pouring in. But police have... To verify their authenticity. Just a few hours ago, the Harding Museum was the scene of a firefight with suspected terrorists, in which more than 20 staff members were killed. A few hours later, a still unknown number of explosives. Stop! Who are you? Check him! an upcoming exhibition at the Harding Museum in which actual human body parts and organs were to be displayed. Always on the spot for you. This is Ian Schweitzer. The door clicked shut behind me, but that didn't matter. In the meantime, the sun had risen, and bright and deadly light shone into the room through the skylight. But my focus was on that had to... Thank you. Well, frightening. I'm just good. Well, like, but I am. Tell me. I need some of... Ah, well, I could... So... Enough talk. Ah! When the fight started, I knew it was already lost.